No! Would you just stop it? My daughter! Hello everyone. My name is Jetterosex and guys, welcome to Metroid Dread. I'm gonna cut to the chase. Seven episodes in, we have done quite a lot. We've taken out all the Emmys throughout the entire game, faced many a bosses from Kraid to new foes like the one dude that cloaked that I don't know his name. We've gotten many abilities and have gotten 100% items throughout the entire game. But there's one thing we have yet to do. A foe has been lurking in the shadows, watching our every move, killing our friends, as well as apparently pulling these strings across the entire Metroid storyline. That man is called Ravenbeak. And today, on Metroid Dread's final episode, we're going to hunt him down and finally put an end to this dreadfully great experience. Hello everyone! My name is Euro6 and welcome to the final episode of Metroid Dread. I will now drop the arm cannon. We got wait, hold up. Slow slow transition. Ready? It's like I'm like I'm in a like a menu screen. Or wait, hold up. I, I can I can make this work. Future editor Brian. Menu screen. Oh ready and uh, hold on, hold on. Go. Okay, that's all you get. <laughs> all right, I will stop. I don't want to waste too much time because I have been waiting to hop into this game. I've got the ye oh, oh, oh my finger. I've got the ye old trusty arm cannon here. My Genki controller. Game's loaded up. And I have been waiting to take on Ravenbeak and find out, well, how this all game ends. So, without further ado, I'm going to shut up. We already got 100% items. Been playing for six hours. Let's hop right into this and finally find out how it all ends. I am very excited to find out because, like, guys, first off, the way I'm doing this whole... Ooh, hold on. When I... Okay, that does not... Okay, I gotta make sure not to jostle that, but that should be fine. There we go. We should be, we should be solid now. Oh, look at her. This is our girl. We're at 100%. Guys, it is time to end this. And we should have... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All items already gotten. I just want to make sure. I ain't trying... No slip-ups, guys. This is it. This, this is it, man. This is game. This is game. Wait, I'm curious. Did those... No, they're still destroyed. They are still destroyed. Oh, guys. This is it, man. This is it. This is where it all ends. Now, last episode, there was a robot dude that jumped back here. Uh, which last episode was very, very long. Three hours of nothing but getting abilities. But now we're gonna take on this boss fight. I've been so- I've been waiting. Oop. It's another Chozo Warrior! Alright, here we go. He should be the same thing as last time. Wait. Oh, I don't think I'm doing damage. Hold on, this is how we do this. Ooh, this is how we do this. This is how we do this. Ooh! Ooh! Ow. Alright, hold on, hold on. I gotta be quiet, I'm sorry. Oh, he got me. Oh my god, look how much energy this guy is taking. Alright, here we go. Oh! I'm sucking the energy! Get him! 
Ooh, Amax is back out. Well, hot damn. Oh. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you look... Oh, no, 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 it was locked, it was locked. Okay, I was making sure I didn't slip up. Okay, so this is it. This is where we go. Yo, what if plot twist? There's way more to the game left, and I didn't know. <laughs> Whoop, there I go. <laughs> Sam, it just looks like a fucking might. Like, fucking, uh, like an overlord. This is my kingdom that I rule. Oh, here we go! Alright, nothing over here. Oh, this is where he's been watching us the whole time! That's really cool storytelling. Full energy recharge, which we do not need. Save room, which we will take. Yes. All right. Oh, do I just... Oh, there we go. Ooh, I blew it up. I destroyed it. Oh, this is it. Use elevator. Oh, here we go. We're going to take on Raven Peak. Oh, and this elevator is like OG Metroid. That's cool. Adam? Uploading data. Your Metroid DNA has caused you to become a Metroid. Ordinarily, this would have happened immediately after the DNA transplant. Your Fofa genes must have slowed down the process. They were the only tribe capable of controlling the Metroids. Though you possess their DNA, you are not a Fofa. Your physical prowess suggests that you must also possess Machin DNA. Metroids okay. are programmed to identify Machin as enemies. This suggests one thing to me. It is very probable that your metamorphosis occurred as a result of Raven Beak's attack. His presence awakened the Metroid's killer instinct. Since then, your metamorphosis has accelerated. It can no longer be controlled. You are now a Metroid, Samus Aran. Your very existence poses a grave threat to the galaxy. What? However, there is no need to fear. You can still contribute to galactic peace. You need only use your new powers correctly. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So it's not like we're going to transform into a full-blown Metroid and go evil. You have followed my instructions faithfully so far. Continue to do so. It's that simple. I consider your performance here on ZDR highly satisfactory, as I hope. It has even awakened your Metroid powers. I was right to let you live during our first encounter. That one glimpse you showed told me everything. So what? And offer up your power. My plan is the only way to bring order to the galaxy. Fulfill your destiny, Samus. This is an order. Disobedience will not be tolerated. Oh! No, the no. That goes against canon. That goes against... Because she... 
was human or whatever on a planet and the space pirates came back and fucking killed her and shit. Or, I mean, her parents, and Ridley was a douchebag about it, it was confirmed in the manga. And then, that's why Sam is so mad at Ridley all the time. And then, Natozo brought her in as uh, one of their own. And there were these two bird dad dudes. We learned that in Metroid uh, Zero Mission. I, when did the, when, Oh, okay, okay, uh, oh my, oh, oh my god, oh, okay. What do I do? What do I do? Do I run away? Do I, I cannot run away. There is no running away. Ouch! There's nothing I can do to hurt her, him! Oh, do I have to counter? I think I have to counter. Okay, that's how I recharge shit. Damn! There's nothing I can do to hurt him! Ow! Fuck! What do I do? Oh! Maybe I am hurting him. Am I weakening his shield? Oh my gosh! What is happening? Oh, I'm going to die. This is it. Oh my, I don't even know how to fight him. Holy crap. Okay, he means business. He means serious badonk donk business. He means more business than the normal businessman. Holy... His daughter. His daughter. There we go. Wait, was I supposed to shoot? Was I supposed to shoot? Oh my god, this guy is nuts. How long is this thing gonna keep following me? Dissipate. Ow. Oh! He punched the shit out of me! Oh my- oh my gosh! Dad, why are you doing this? Bruh! How am I supposed to fight this madman? Ah! Boom! Oh, I got him this time! Yeah! Okay, get away, get away, get away, get away. Ouch! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh! Oh my god! Damn! I'm dead. God! That is nuts! Woo!
Woo! Ooh, that was close. Oh, oh. I misunderstood. Ow. Boom! There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh. Oh! I think he might have pissed him off. <gasps> he has wings! Okay. Oh my god. Oh no. He has the ability for all... Oh, I can, I can hurt him right now. Okay, I need to do the missile thing. Ooh. I would point out a few of these powers that he's using are very similar to the ones from Metroid 2. Like the rapid fire shot, totally Metroid 2 callback. Oh god, I need help. I need help. I don't know when, but I need it. Shit! Er, it's doing the effect that is if I'm doing damage. Where's the second one? There it is. Second volley. He's always got two. Okay. Oh shoot, okay. My arm's getting tired. <laughs> I might have to switch to the missile. I might have to switch to missiles, my arms are getting too tired. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Blast him. Take a wing down. Now you're my level. <gasps> he does not care. What is that? What is that? What is what is this? Oh my god. This man has no right to be this ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I could have gotten him then. Do as much damage as I can. Ow! Boom! Oh, that didn't activate a thingy this time. Oh, 
Okay. Oh! Get him! What? 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 Holy crap! No! Oh my god! Oh! Oh shit! <laughs> what? Woo! Oh! This way! Oh, I need to climb out! Holy crap! Run! Oh, I have no time! Talk about freaking... Oh my god, oh my god, I have no time to think. Oh, I just hold it down and I break people. Oh my gosh! Get in there. It's not working. Oh! 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I want to run, but I can't. Move! Oh my god, I'm gonna cut it close. I'm gonna cut it close. There's a the ship! Go, 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 go! Just like in Fusion! The last act of the X! Get dunked on, by the way! Sashi, Takarino Hosakawa, Christian Fernando Santiezo, Alfonso Valiodo Fernandez, Georgia Bianto Sharo, Kenji Yamato, Paul Logan. That's all I'm saying. All the weird names. I have to. Her Metroid DNA fully metamorphosized, and she transformed into a full-blown mega badass Metroid. Third off, the SAX that apparently cloned Kraid attached itself to him, turning him into Ravenbeak X, looking like a mad monster. Too bad we couldn't fight him for real, but that was freaking sick either way. Massive crazy escape sequence, we blew up the planet. And then finally, the, the one X parasite that attached itself to Quiet Robe, which effectively was like a Sayex, essentially, but with Quiet Robe's DNA instead of ours. Essentially, um, got onto the ship, and like the Sayex, when it knew that it was going to die, and knew that things were going bad in South, it sacrificed itself to let Samus absorb it in a vain attempt to let it survive. It, it even accepted its fate. Unless Quiet Robe somehow had control and gave himself to her. I don't I don't know if it's one of those two, but the suit. Whoa. <laughs> her Metroid organically changed suit was amazing. And look, I'm a green and black guy. I always have been. I, I know you I mean the chair is the best the best example is the chair, but like that's my favorite suit of all time. She looked like, I've always wondered what a Samus-Metroid combination would look like. It always made sense. And now, we know. <laughs> and it looks sick as shit. Ah. Uh, oh my god. Wow. Wow. Me Mercury Steam. I was already on the floor whether or not, like, you know, Dread was going to be my favorite Metroid game, or if I was going to still, like, AM2R over it, but now that I've finished it, the final boss and all, Dread takes the cake. This is the best 2D Metroid game I have ever played. In fact, it might even be the best Metroid game I have ever played. I, I love... I, 
Metroid Prime Echoes, and I love AM2R. Those are my two, top two Metroid games. I love a bunch of the others, too, but, like, those are my top ones I always go to and I always fall in love with. But Dread takes the cake in leaps and bounds. The, the negatives are so minute, it's not even funny. Like, the only downsides to Dread was the, the, the map system icons, little finicky. I wish there was a more streamlined way to, like, cycle through, I'm searching for this specific thing once you discover it, you know? Um, that, and everything's highlighted on the map. The only other thing is that the enemies, when they catch you, and they kill you, there's no oomph. They just, they just kill it. They stab you, and that's it. It's very anticlimactic. Other than those two things. No, yeah. Other than the no, no, no. Third thing, I kind of wish there was a way to lock onto enemies. Whether well, that would have been an ability or an assist feature you could a uh, activate to make things a little easier. Because it's a little tricky having to free aim around. Um, but then again, that's one of those probably would have made it too easy. That's why I feel like it should be like an assist mode to activate and be like an icon to mark like, oh, you got assistance or something. Oh, Nintendo copyright, Nintendo Mercury Steam Entertainment are authors of the purpose of all copyright. All rights reserved. Clear time, 6 hours, 27 minutes, 15 seconds. That's all I get? That's all I get. Oh. <gasps> it's the timeline! Hard mode unlocked. New content and gallery. Oh, and I saw this by accident. So this tells kind of the story. There's Ravenbeak, and he's killing the Emmy. And then this is them apparently getting Kraid. I don't know how, though. This is them studying some of the creatures. I don't know what- this is them exploring the planet, this is the X-Parasites taking over, that's uh, Quiet Robe and uh, Modifying the X, they're Samus Aaron, and then this is when they're like conquering the planet, and then this last ending scene is like showing everything, like there you can see uh, Adam, the baby Metroid, the Emmys, Quiet Robe, then all the big bads in the background, and then Quiet Robe ahead of it all. I was told there was post-game, though. Whoa. Normal mode. Hard mode. <gasps> There's a fusion mode. I bet you fucking money. There- Well, hold on. I'm not done yet. I wanna know. There has to be more. Hold on. Answer. Nope, there is no fusion mode for Dread. Okay, it's only hard mode. All right, that answers everything. I wish, though, I wish we could have kept playing with that suit. That sucks they only let us screw with it for a bit. That really does suck, because that suit, holy crap, man, that was awesome. And I could have beaten it faster, too, if I would have known where... Now that I know, now that I'm aware how the game works, I can totally beat this game in less than... Less than four hours? I don't know. 100% less than four hours on hard mode. That might take some practice. Um, but I feel like this might be the first Metroid game that I completely go all out for, you know? Oh my gosh. That was... Yeah, I'm only missing four of the rewards. One of them I don't even care about. Well, um, that's it. That, that's that's the game. Metroid Dread has now been beaten. What a game. Wow. First off, Samus' final suit was awesome. Now that the Metroid's the Metroid story and the X story is over, the big arc is done. The rest of the Chozo are dead. They all died. The X Parasites are no more, and we have the last ones inside of us. 
the Metroids are all dead, except for us, who's the final one, who now has the ability, I'm guessing, to... I don't know if she can freely evolve back into that form or not, but um, that definitely is now something a part of her. Um, and it almost seems like the X almost cancelled out that metamorphosis, I think, or maybe delayed it. I'm not entirely sure. The story was amazing. It kept me engaged the entire time, and... I have to say, this is not the right music for this. This is not the right music, I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play something far more better in the background. Anyway, so, first off, wow, the Dread's graphics is amazing. The controls are amazing. The story is amazing. Everything about Dread is amazing. It is literally, practically the perfect Metroid game with the only gripes being the, uh, the uh, anticlimactic death by Emmys. Like, everything else has a bigger impact than the Emmys. Uh, when they get you. I mean, they're them chasing you absolutely crazy and freaky and hiding from amazing. But but that build up to like when they try when they finally get you, ah, it just it just falls flat. Um the not being able to highlight certain map icons until you like hunt them down on the map, which can be kind of tricky with like how it's all kind of labeled out. I wish it was a way to highlight them easier, like like a cycle system or something, I don't know. And finally, I really really wish we could keep using that Samus suit post game just that like i don't even care if it's an option or or something i don't know like metroid wanted the ability to have like this super bad mega suit if you put in a certain code i wish there was a way to use samus's metroid suit outside of that you know ending sequence and keep using the hyper beam outside of the ending sequence um but like wow that was amazing I do also wish, I do have one last gripe, I have one last gripe, I, or no, two more gripes, and then I'm done. Um, Other M being canon, canonized, whatever you want to call it, that makes me mad. I, Other M is a really shitty Metro game, it's one of the worst, it's one of the worst games I've ever played, and my, in the worst Metro game, period. Um, and the story contradicts a lot of Prime stuff, and it's just, it's, it's Other M is just not a good game. In general, I re and what may sucks is that it had the, the ability to, but whatever, getting ahead of myself, that's for a whole other day to talk about. Uh, the last gripe I have, I kind of wish, like in Fusion, where it gave a little more story ending exposition stuff to kind of really smooth things out. <coughs> wish they would have done the same thing in Dread. It kind of, it ends on a good note, her escaping and everything, uh, and then that's it. You know, which is fine. That's a bunch of the other Metroid games, but like, I don't know, it felt more like mission accomplished, like Super Metroid and, and Fusion's longer exposition, things like that. This one felt a little more flat, if that makes sense. But those are very, very, very minimal issues for what is, in all intents and purposes, the perfect and best Metroid game ever. And if they do not continue making Metroid games after Dread, I won't be mad. I'll be upset. But I feel like Dread is the best way to end the series if they don't make any more Metro games. And even if there's like a big hiatus, I can't think of a better game to choose than Dread. And that brings us to the end of this video. Guys, it has been a wild series. Metro Dread has been one of the best games I have ever played and I have enjoyed every second of it. And I'm, almost, and I'm really sad to see it go, honestly. And I'm totally going to be playing this in my spare time. I'm going to play hard mode, and I'm going to beat the crap out of it again, because I loved it. So, guys, if you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. It's always effing amazing. Thank you for joining me on Metroid Dread. It has been one heck of a ride. And I will see you on the next one. Just exciting out. Later. <sighs> wow.